Hi, I want to share with you fun activity for kids. This activity helps with math literacy and physical movement. If you have at home a box, the best shape would be cube. You can make dice, preferably two dice. I had two boxes that I covered with paper. So I was able to write on one of the sides. But you can ask your child to help you with the whole process. When you have a box, first thing, cover with, cover the sides. You can see it's a lot of print here. Um, will be difficult to put something new on it. So let's cover the print. You can do that with white paper. If you have printing paper, this is a good way. Uh, you just have to measure, which is a great opportunity to ask your child to measure. Helps with math. How to make this paper fit on the side uh, of the box. And to do that, you can ask your child to use scissors, which again helps with another set of skills, which is exercising muscles and developing fine motor skills, which future in the future will be helpful with writing. So the box can be covered with white paper. It can be also covered with brown butcher paper. You can you can cover like a wrap, you can wrap like a gift, which again gives you each side clear. Um, so when you when the a print is cover, you can start to write, which I will tell you what to write later. However, there's a lot of different options for that. So going back to what else you can do, you can cover the backs with white paper and hold together by tape. I use brown tape. I have white tape. It doesn't have to be white like this. It can be just normal tape the typical one you can purchase anywhere. Or you can use glue. This will take a little bit longer because glue has to dry. So when you decide to use glue, you just have to wait. The next step is to put right things on each side. If you are able to have two boxes, you can make one box as a uh, box with numbers and the second box something that will describe action. Jump, roll, something fun. If you have only one box, for numbers you can use just regu regular dice, as long as you can see the numbers. This helps your child to learn some learn numbers and some mathematical concepts that um, later will help in the kindergarten. However, if you have two boxes, first you can write numbers. So you can use uh, fat markers, which is easier to hold for uh, tiny hands. And uh, optionally, I want to say, if you don't have paper, brown paper or white paper, you can also use newspaper. If the print is not uh, very strong, together with the f fat marker, it will work okay. It's just for, uh, you need the side to write something and preferably allow your child to write. So, uh, for example, numbers. Um, you can recreate the uh, dice look by putting different numbers on each side. So you have six sides, you will have six numbers. You can use, like I said, pet markers or maybe skinny ones. If you don't have uh, markers, you can use crayons. Darker colors probably are better. So one has one uh, box would have numbers and the other will be maybe an activity. Ask your child what will be a fun activity. And I encourage you to ask your child to write that too. So for example, hmm, maybe spin in a circle. So your child will write spin, but maybe doesn't know uh, how to write. Maybe we'll just make oh, something like this, spin in a circle. Your child, trust me, will remember the meaning. Maybe you can come up with like, a, hmm, what would be fun? Arm circles. Arm circles 
Oh, maybe it's too difficult. Maybe you just want to write or so now the last one is game. When you have two boxes, you roll the, we will call them dice, roll the dice. And might happen that you will have number three on one dice. And now maybe activity jump like a frog on the other die. This way, you ask your child to three times jump like a frog. There is a lot of possibility. You don't have to follow this exact um, instructions. Whatever works for your family. Have fun.